Good morning, we're here at the uh, downtown Fresno Viaduct and just showing some status of what we have going on here, what the contractor has already constructed. So down below approximately 80 feet is the pile. There is concrete there. So now the next pour will come up and that'll be the column. The contractor right now is getting ready to start setting up the forms for the columns and for the flares. The structure that goes over 99 is a signature structure. So you're gonna see a fancier type of bridge there. It's gonna be an arch shape. The viaduct is gonna be coming straight this way over 99 and then behind us in a straight line out, out north to the building that you see in the background with the two S's. We've continued now with, uh, with the remaining four columns closer to the U Union Pacific uh, right away. We'll finish that up and once the girders come up, then we'll be able to start doing the, the structure, the superstructure. So it's gonna be a bridge that will have traffic two ways. Stanislaus eventually gets demolished. Once the bridge is built, then they can open up the traffic as well, but it, it's also gonna depend on when, when we demolish Stanislaus. We are here at the uh, Fresno Trench. We are in between the Ys, and what that is, it's a uh, side tracks that the uh, Union Pacific uh, Railroad owns, and we are building the trench in between the Y. We've already done the lagging piles. The next operation is to do the secant piles. You will see a trench here that'll be about 40 feet deep that eventually will go down below State Route 180, which you see up ahead of me. And then everything in between will get excavated out. This will be material that we use for our, our bridges and other locations. This is Dry Creek, which is not dry right now, but uh, there is a canal going through there. And we got to go under that canal. And we also got to go under the Union Pacific track that you see ahead there, the, the Y. And then go under State Route 180. Okay, we are here at another location um, that is under construction for the high-speed rail, and with me here is Mike Weber, the construction senior. Uh, let me just give you a brief update on the project today. The new on-ramp for southbound 99 here at McKinley has um, been widened and upgraded. So the bridge widening has been completed. We still have some barrier to go up on top of the bridge deck. These walls, they're finishing up and then they'll start on the adjacent dirt work down below, finishing up the barrier. So we were here in February. We had just poured the footing of this wall. So this wall now has been completed with the exception of the, there's a barrier rail goes up on top. So Ashland Avenue, we're currently in stage one of reconstructing the southbound off ramp. We still have a retaining wall to construct on the west side of that stage one work. Once that's complete, we'll begin the stage two, which is ultimately the left side or the left going southward. We're here at the San Joaquin River Viaduct location. Immediately to my right, to the east here, is the Union Pacific uh, Railroad track. You are looking right now at the alignment and where that orange fence is up ahead, that's actually where we're going over Union Pacific. Is this where the pergola is gonna go? This is the pergola. So a pergola is a structure that is offset from alignment because down below you still gotta get the train Union Pacific has to run with a certain opening and we're running up on top of them. So we have to build a structure that allows us to run on skew. This is the entrance as people come in, on the north side as people coming into Fresno. So that also has the uh, arch structure. The contractor currently is uh, working on tying the rebar cages together. Th those are the rebar cages for the piles. Let's, uh, let's go straight to the top then. So now they put uh, the 
the formwork and the steel for what will be the slab of our structure, superstructure, where the train will actually be running. And as we look south, just to the south of where that crane is, is the, the abutment and it's the final end of the, this viaduct here. We still have a piece in the middle here that we have to build and that's the piece that goes over State Route 145. Once we get all of this done, we'll continue north. The farms, they are manufactured specially for these projects and it's a variable parabolic design. If you see the one that's cast here right in front of us, uh, you know, it just kind of flares out and then the front is actually flat. flat. Yeah. And so the variable par parabolic is what you'll see throughout the state, not only on CP1, but throughout the state. Everything else is uh, pretty much set. And like you see here, we're just building the superstructure.